immigrant community to reveal various success stories. Today our community has lots of representatives in a number of sectors covering a wide scope that not stretch only from education to trade and finance, but also include many representatives in labor, service, and administrators in public and private sector who add value to whichever institution they work for. Ladies and gentlemen, such a diverse composition of achievements that makes me proud as a representative of my government in Canada is not a coincidence. This accomplishment is a product of a talent, capacity, hard work, and collaboration. However, these notions are not sufficient for a whole success when they just stand alone as substantive virtues. Main dynamic that will mobilize and transform these qualities into a collective valuation is the civil society organizations. Here comes the prominence of the Anatolian Heritage Federation. The Anatolian Heritage Federation is a young umbrella organization for 11 different organizations that represent different segments of the Turkish society, sets a sound example of dedication for encouragement, support and promotion among the community. This devotion is the recipe for a community cohesion and joint reinforcement standing out as the driving force behind a robust integration in social, economic, and cultural aspects. And it is this integration that brings the Turkish community forward as the real diplomats on the ground, representing peace and development, along with cooperation and cohabitation that uphold the values of Canadian multicultural social establishment. Thank you for all. And we thank uh, Mr. Andrew Zagne for his uh, remarks. And before he leaves uh, the stage, uh, you see at the back there is an art performance going on. It's watermarking, or Ebru, as it's called in Turkey. And, uh, a fresh piece from that uh, exhibit we would like to uh, give as a gift to the, to the uh, Council General, Father Zagneh. 